Hi guys, so welcome to another video. So today I am going to be doing a DIY carrot cake for rabbits and guinea pigs. And today's recipe is inspired by the beautiful sunshine. As you can see, it's shining on me. Rare occurrence for the UK. So I'll be flavouring mine with lavender, thyme, uh, chamomile, rose and lemon balm very summery flavours and I'm just sick of winter I just want it to be warm so let's get to it before I get started I realised in last video I said I was gonna insert photos of Patsy's resting rabbit face um, and I completely forgot about that so I'm going to do it now so you can see just what I deal with most mornings most afternoons, most any time I go up there really. So they'll be inserted just after this bit. So I have just started by grating a parsnip and a carrot. Well it's actually half carrot, half parsnip. I picked some lemon balm, some lavender and some thyme which is under there i've also put some dried basil and some coriander in and i'm just going to blend up these oats first and then add these ingredients so i'll be back in just a second so the oats have been blended up as you can see here any spare i've got i put into a bowl and i am now going to attempt um, I need to get better at this one-handed filming to as you can see put all the ingredients in like that that was a good shot and then I'm just going to blend again, so I will be back in just a second. So the mixture should end up looking like this. It's still a little bit firm, but that's okay. That's what we want. And then, so the mixture should end up looking like this. Uh, you can see it's starting to come together and it's still a little bit firm. That's perfect for what we want. So I'm going to add the banana and the forage in now. So I'm going to be using chamomile and rose and dandelion leaves dry. And maybe not all that banana, but you'll see my idea in a little bit. So I forgot. Hi Patsy. I forgot to collect my forage, so I just thought I'd come up and show you. Hi, Pat Pat. Yes, I'll be in a minute. So, with the forage done, the other two are hiding in there. With the forage done and got, I can now go back and start. I know what she wants, actually. Again, again, one-handed opening is not my strong point. There we are, Patsy. There we are, Smudgy. What are you two doing? There we are, Yoshi. Patsy. Pat. Oi. Albino. I know my fingers smell of banana. You can't eat me. Hi. Ooh. So with the forage, I have birch leaf and dandelion leaves. I am just going to add a couple of handfuls into the blender. And then blend the banana forage and mixture together. So, once that's all in the bowl, I am just going to... And 
Right. Oh, some of these. Chamomile rose and marigold flowers. And then I shall stir these and get back to you in just a second. So once all your mixture is mixed all together, you just want to get balls of it like this and press it into moulds of your choice. This would be so much easier with two hands, um, but obviously you won't be filming and doing it. And then once it's all compacted in, you just slowly demold it and then you end up looks a little bit like a brownie for rabbits and guinea pigs. I'm going to be doing one each so I will be back with you once I have finished the other one. So I've done all three of them now and to make them look a little bit more cake-like what does every good cake need? It needs a nice dollop of frosting or icing, especially seeing as these are meant to be carrot cakes. And seeing as we can't give our animals any buttercream frosting, next best thing to give is a banana frosting or mashed up banana. So I'm just spreading this around. As always with homemade treats it doesn't matter what it looks like, but I want a garnish on. So from here, I have found some marigold flowers. And don't want that. Some rose petals. This bit is a little bit fiddly. But obviously your rabbit doesn't care, or guinea pig doesn't care what it looks like. And there we have it. So these are undehydrated. I'm going to say raw. Um, that one looks a bit bare. So I will be putting these into the dehydrator for 12 hours and I will check back in with you tomorrow. So it's next morning. These have dehydrated, completely dry. Petals fell off. Um, as you can see, especially on this one, some of the banana has shrunk. Not in the world, but that is what they look like once done. And I will give these to my lot in a little bit. So thank you for watching the video, guys. If you'd like to hit this subscribe button and like button, I would really appreciate it. And see you all next time.
bye